To start with good news tonight, the news that many people have been waiting to hear. The I-65 construction project in downtown Indianapolis is coming to an end. And it's happening earlier than expected. Everything will be back to normal tomorrow morning. But even before that, crews are opening up a large part of it right now at 6 o'clock. Good news. Our Mary Mills is on I-65 right now with what we've been waiting to hear. Mary, we survived 65. <laughs> Oh my gosh, isn't this a great day? This is fabulous. After 34 days of detours and delays and trying to get around downtown, 65 is finally reopening. Now we're standing right along 65 at the 21st Street on and off ramps. And we were camped out here because this is where traffic, southbound traffic, was supposed to open up about uh, just a few moments ago. But take a look, and if we can go to Chopper 13, you are going to see that there's actually traffic in the northbound lanes. It's fairly light right now now, but there is traffic. It is moving. That Again, that's something we haven't seen in uh, more than a month. Now, just a short time ago, we were told by the project manager that they decided to open one northbound on-ramp at 12th in Illinois there just to get traffic moving. They said they could do it, so the other uh, northbound on-ramps will not open until later today. Now, just within the last half hour, the crews were here taking down barricades at the southbound on-ramp at 21st Street. They're still here. They still have not opened up this on-ramp. They're still waiting to open up on-ramps at 29th and 30th and 38th. They say that that should be happening very soon. They expected it to happen at 6. Nonetheless, we are told that everything will be open before midnight. Initially, they were saying uh, 6 a.m. tomorrow, but they are uh, ready to open before midnight. And if you want to go back up to Chopper video, uh, we can show you again and tell you why everything is opening. That's because they get a $50,000 bonus if they finish by midnight. Uh, if they were late, they would have paid $50,000. So for every second, I guess, after midnight, they're not getting that bonus. Uh, so they will be done. And we're looking down, and we can see crews uh, at the, uh, what, 20, uh, 29th, 30th uh, area down there, and they're getting ready to remove those barricades. So that should be opening shortly, too, again, the southbound ramp. So if you are headed home tonight, you're headed south, coming from downtown, uh, you should be able to do that. Again, though, if you're headed north, the only on-ramp going that direction right now is the one off Illinois. So a lot of people thrilled to hear that, I'm sure. Next week should be a breeze. And yeah, that's Johnny, some really good so news. Yeah. But what about I-65 on the northwest side, a little further up? Is that opening too? That's right. That'll be opening at the same time. You're talking about the southbound ramp at 465. That, too, has been closed. It's all expected to open at the same time. Told these, these southbound ramps closer to downtown will open first, and then that will open. So it should be smooth traveling in the days ahead. Yeah, the good news just keeps getting better. Thank you. Mary Mills on a Friday night in downtown Indianapolis.